Let's face it, everyone hates visiting those websites with tons of ads. They're mostly annoying and sometimes they can be embarrassing. And I dare to say scary, especially when it comes to the possibility of a privacy breach. And it's quite interesting how even in a world that has become more focused on privacy like never before, the best ad blockers and privacy extensions are still necessary for optimizing your web experience. Tech companies such as Apple are taking note of our desire to browse the web in peace and have added the ability to block specific mobile apps from tracking you in this year's iOS 14.5 updates with more privacy boosters on the way with iOS 15. Also, the Safari browser has been completely revamped with privacy as the main focus in the upcoming Mac OS Monterey, which will be released later this year to Mac users. That said, whether it's zapping pop-up ads, cluttering up your browsers, or making sure your online activity isn't tracked, a good ad blocker can add a layer of security to your online experience. So in this video, I've made a list to help you find the best ad blocker for Safari that stay faithful to your browser and keep you safe from unnecessary ads while also saving bandwidth and providing additional features. But before I begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as the notification bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos on this channel. Now, let's begin. Magic Lasso ad blocker for Safari has shown mixed results. On one hand, it doesn't block ads on YouTube at all. On the other hand, it blocks major categories of uh, advertising, meaning that even a free version blocks most types of ads. But would this be relevant for users who want to hide ads on YouTube? What's good is that Magic Lasso support is free, so you can ask them anything via magiclasso.com. Subscription for the pro version is built annually at $15, reduces traffic by an average of 20%. AdGuard for Safari takes up quite a lot of space and consumes a lot of RAM memory, as for a browser extension. However, that is why it shows the highest point in our test for ads by category, as well as block all advertising on YouTube. In the web surfing mode, it performs well and does not let annoying ads through. The advantage of the Safari ad blocker extension is the choice of 8 filters. Generally, this is a good blocker, but if a user has a limited amount of RAM resources, it could be an issue. Yet, yeah, 17 megabytes of RAM shouldn't cause trouble on a Mac, right? Reduces traffic by 35% on average. Judging by the 3.2 product version, it would seem that the extension has added more functionality and indeed it has. Catblock does not show any ads on YouTube. It scores higher on our ad blocking test and it also proves effective in web surfing mode. The size of the application and the use of RAM are minimal. For this particular one, efficiency is more uh, is what makes it one of the top ad blockers for Safari. It reduces traffic by an average of 35%. Ublock shows average results. It successfully blocks YouTube ads but does not block important advertising categories. It is hard to see a significant difference from other extensions in web surfing mode. Now, your blog shows average results. It successfully blocks YouTube ads, but does not block important advertising categories. It is hard to see a significant difference from other extensions in web surfing mode, operation, and site download speed. However, despite the uh, small size, the amount of RAM used is almost 4.5 times the size of the application itself, which is weird at least. It reduces traffic by an average of 26%. Although ad and stuff blockers does not look like a credible application and has no review at all on the App Store, perhaps the most interesting feature of this program is a page loader timer. And judging by its indicator, pages loads an average of 0.5 seconds faster. A slight difference, but it is very nice that the developer took care of such trifle. It reduces traffic by an average of 35% during our test. And AdLock, the first thing to ask is why is such a small program using so much memory? 
in general, adlock proved to be good, blocking ads on YouTube, of course, and scoring good points in testing. It hides all forms of ads, beats, uh, banners, pop-ups, or autoplay video animations, etc. Extra point for additional features such as anti-spyware and anti-malware protection, widely social media filters, and uh, reduces traffic by an average of 40%. So there you have it guys, let me know in the comment section down below which of these ad blockers you are currently using and if you find this list pretty helpful then do consider giving this video a thumbs up which is going to help the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below to the lower right corner. Hit the notification bell icon as well to get notified when we upload a new video and with that said, I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye for now.